Keyshawn Davis is a good fighter. Young, but he's a good fighter. I think Keyshawn Davis needs to pull himself away from the social media. He needs to stop calling people out. Stop hanging around with guys for clout. And really, he needs to focus on himself. Get in the gym. You know, figure out his identity as a fighter. Because what I just saw, I guess, a C minus fighter was, I'm not going to say pathetic, but it wasn't what I expected. And please, spare me the nonsense about not here upright being a good fighter. He's a solid fighter, not a good fighter. Okay. There's a reason why Bob Arum put him in a ring with a so called prospect. Bob Arum's not going to put a decent, or uh, Bob Arum's not going to put a good fighter in the ring with his prospect. He's going to put a solid fighter. Okay. Keyshawn Davis can beat solid fighters. We don't know what he's going to do up against a good fighter. Now he's calling at Hold he's calling at Hold Pedraza, a guy that's already uh, moved past the lightweight division. I don't know why he want to fight a guy that's already moved uh, past the lightweight division. That would be a disadvantage for Jose Pedraza. But okay, you know, if if he if he wants to gain more experience, I can understand why he would go that route. But him pulling down a Jose Pedraza from the junior welterweight division won't do anything for his career. He's just going to gain a little bit more experience. By fighting a guy, well, basically by draining a guy down from the junior welterweight division. Okay. But listen, what I saw tonight, I'm not convinced that this man can beat any of the top lightweights, not even Frank Martin. This guy got hurt by a guy with only seven knockouts. Seven knockouts. Okay. Now, I'm not knocking uh, Keyshawn Davis, but Keyshawn Davis, what I saw, is not he's not it he's not it just like we criticized frank martin for his last performance against a guy that was undefeated that also had what 10 knockouts you gotta criticize Keyshawn davis but even though Keyshawn davis is a prospect and he has 10 fights but the way he talks and the way he moves is why he is well and deserving of all the criticism that's coming towards his way He's going to get criticized because he was in the in the ring with someone that he was supposed to go in there and shine against. And again, spare me the nonsense about now here upright being this good fighter. He's not a good fighter. He's a solid fighter. And Keyshawn Davis beat a solid fighter. My only issue with this fight, again, I'm glad that, you know, Keyshawn Davis was able to be in a tough competitive, tough competitive fight. I'm glad that happened for him because he can learn from that. But the commentating crew, the commentating crew kept digging themselves a hole. They kept digging themselves deeper and deeper in the hole that they've dug for themselves by trying to hype up Keyshawn Davis. Timothy Bradley had to talk about something being wrong with Keyshawn Davis. There was nothing wrong with Keyshawn Davis in that ring. What happened to Keyshawn Davis in the eighth round is that he basically gave up. He gave up. And you guys expect him to to be the the future of the lightweight division or the future of boxing, this man gave up. Now, in comparison to Frank Martin, Frank Martin was in a tough competitive fight against some guy from, uh, uh, was it Germany? But Frank Martin in the championship rounds showed why he belongs in the conversation amongst the top lightweights because he ended up knocking down, you know, the, the guy from Germany that he fought in this last fight. Now, I'm not comparing Frank Martin to Keyshawn Davis However, these guys are always tied together. They've been tied together since uh, the whole situation between Buck Crawford and El Spence. And thanks to Keyshawn Davis, because he started that nonsense. But Keyshawn Davis, like I said a minute ago, he need to pull himself away from social media. Stop clout chasing off of Crawford and, and Shakur Stevenson. Stop calling out everybody. And he really needs to start focusing on himself. He needs to find his identity as a fighter inside that ring because he looks like he's all over the place in that ring. He looks like he doesn't know what he is as a fighter. Keyshawn Davis was a boxer. He was in there trying to punch. He was an inside fighter. He was an outside fighter. And he was an expert at showboating. I mean, he was all over the place. And this is why, you know, he somewhat got exposed. He got caught with a lot of shots. And... You guys keep talking about Frank Martin, you know, the other guy to the lightweight division. I think he loses to those guys.